Is this the guy on the radio <laughs> that's talking about he goes to Grunhofer's and gets a hunk of salmon and eats it with his bare hands? That's and that's then me. he gets it all over the steering wheel? Is oh, that this guy? That's me. That's me. And look at this. Here. There's crumbs of meatloaf on the front seat. Yeah. Which kind of meatloaf? Nod, nod on pieces of bacon. Yeah. Jerky thrown all over the place. This is the Grunhofer's guy. He never even makes it home before he eats all the meatloaf. Grunhofer's Old Fashioned Meats in Hugo, where there are now three meatloafs. Meatloaf tartar. The meatloaf, the town ball meatloaf, and the Minnesota meatloaf. Town ball's got a little bacon and cheese in it, uh, and the Minnesota's got a little wild rice and mushrooms in it, oh. and the meatloaf is just the meatloaf. I hope you enjoyed this yesterday on your various Super Bowl Sunday feasts. Mm. But uh, Grunhofer's would have been the place to shop for the brats, the burgers, the steaks, the bacon, the ham, the seasoning, the jerky, the salmon, everything that has uh, really fouled up Kenny's truck. Uh, and it's all <laughs> great great smelling food, but they're, they're designed to be uh, consumed in a kitchen or perhaps at a, a dining room table. They're, they're not designed to be consumed... Uh, snarfing it into your mouth, driving down the freeway, Kenny. and and getting your hands dirty. Right. Right. That's not how they're designed Come to on. be enjoyed. Free they're country. just not designed to be enjoyed that Free way. Country. It's oh man, it's Grunhoffers. Uh, there was a neat piece in the paper today about a guy who wants to create a downtown Hugo out of whole cloth. There's a little lake mm. there behind uh, behind Hugo, and he wants to create a downtown there with a with a walkway with restaurants and. And saloons and little shops and it was uh, a great area. And man, you'd be only you'd be in walking distance to tell the restaurant, "I'll eat here if you get the stuff from Grunhoffers." Right, right. It's right at the north end of your new downtown here on Highway 61 in Hugo. Grunhoffers Old Fashioned Meats. When it gets cold, he gets hot. Joe Souchere. <laughs> Are we talking to Patrick today? Uh, he said he is available for a, uh, a Super Bowl call-in. He's not available for Monday Night Sports Talk, but I do believe, uh, Rook, we should touch base with him regarding last night's game. I will send him a text. All right. Kenny, did you have something? I'm sorry. Suits, you know how, uh, how even though you probably won't buy a boat, you still look for them every day? Every day. Same with <laughs> cars. Yep. My nephew is only 14. He's from Texas, Devin, him and Tyler, twins. He's got it so bad. He was up here in town last week for seven days, Saturday through Saturday. And while he was here, (laughs) poor Devin, he bought a 14-foot Lund, you know, one of those red numbers, a classic. And it had an old red Johnson. I think they're seven and a half horse, aren't they? Like from the late fifties. Well, there was five and a half, seven and a half. It was if it was red, it was about yeah. a nineteen fifty six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a, it's a red one, seven and a half horse. So, of course, he brought it over to my place to store it. So I immediately gifted him two cans of Sea Foam Marine Pro, and then immediately oh, yeah. added some to his tank. And then uh, the day bef- uh, the day before, I gassed up a couple of sleds. I got to take the fellas from Texas snowmobiling. I got to tell you, that was fun. Ten miles an hour the whole time. But I added to the uh, sled tanks. I gassed up the, tr- the uh, truck over the weekend, added a half a can of high-mileage motor treatment to the tank. You starting to get the picture here, GL? I, I love this stuff more than chicken gravy. And here's the big move. I think it is for me anyway. I recently used my last can of WD for target practice. Boy, that baby exploded. I have moved up in the world to Seafoam Deep Creep Penetrating Oil and Lube, and it works better, and it smells better, and thanks to the uh, GLer that recommended that I use it as gun lube, it works perfectly as a gun lube. And by the way, it's the Seafoam, available everywhere, nationally and worldwide. Keeps small engines and their tiny, rotten little carbs clean. It works in... Works in the oil. You can dump it right in the oil to clean your cylinders and rings. Carburetors, injectors, they're always happy with seafoam. The mileage on my truck has actually improved nicely since I started using the high mileage treatment. It's a wonderful, wonderful product in a world of bad gas. It's seafoam. Man, do I dump a lot of that in a snowblower. Mm-hmm. I know, I know. I go through this like... And that baby runs sweet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. do you do the do you do the ounce per gallon formula? Uh, I just I give it a it. swig. You give it a it's, swig. 
Yeah, it's like when my wife is in the kitchen and I ask her for the recipe. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little yeah. bit of that, a dash of this. I just wing it. I just I'm a dollop a guy. In. I like to give it a yeah. dollop. dollop. A good yeah. dollop. Uh, rookie, inform me about Patrick. Uh, I'm waiting for a response. Well, in the meantime, I'd like to tell you that we've had another gender reveal party go south. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Honest to God, uh, it's got to be the Samer theory. Uh, people are just nuts and getting increasingly nuts because of the pandemic. A 26-year-old Michigan man was killed in an explosion that occurred during a baby shower, according to Gaines Township authorities. A small cannon was fired in the backyard of a home by the homeowner. It blew up. It sprayed metal shrapnel that struck the man who was standing nearby. Oh, Wow. The man was taken in serious condition to Hurley Medical Center in Flint, where he later died. The man has been identified as Evan Thomas Silva from Heartland, CBS affiliate WNEM reported. Three parked cars in the garage where the baby shower was being held were also struck by shrapnel. Michigan State Police said it is suspected the cannon gunpowder in the evidence caused the cannon to fracture. Uh, They bought the cannon at an auction. The device had been fired by the homeowner several times. Telephone calls Sunday to Gaines Township authorities for additional information were not immediately, immediately returned. In recent years, some gender reveal events where devices eject confetti, balloons, or other objects to announce a soon-to-be-born child's sex have taken a dangerous turn. In September, a couple's plan to reveal their baby's gender with blue or pink smoke sparked a wildfire that burned thousands of acres in Southern California. And in 2019, a homemade explosive used to reveal a baby's gender killed 56-year-old Pamela Cremeyer in Knoxville, Iowa. The device was meant to spray powder, but instead blew up like a pipe bomb. Wow. You know, uh, let me tell you Jeez. something, people. Let me tell you something. Wow. Just have the kid and then just tell people who ask you, what'd you have? Well, we had a boy. Okay, thank you. And hand out uh, pink or blue cigars. What the hell is wrong with people? Everybody's trying to outdo the other and be the thing to go viral and be creative. That, that is the name of today's program. I think you've used that phrase in a number of different scenarios. What the hell is wrong with people? What the hell is wrong with people? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see. You suspect global warming is weakening glaciers, so you've got one hydroelectric plant below the glacier, and which feeds two <clears> rivers. <throat> I, I got an idea. Let's build a new one right here next to it, uh, because uh, we don't think that glacier will ever succumb. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. I, what I, the hell's wrong with you? What the hell's wrong what with people? What the hell's wrong with people? Kid, people leaving their kids and running cars outside of the drugstore. The hey, we're going to have a baby. You? Let's drag out the cannon and fire that sucker. What What's wrong, wrong with you? With you? What the hell's wrong with you? God almighty. I used to have a cannon that shot stuff. I can't find it. Oh, yeah. that's Remember the, that cannon that I That was the restoration hardware one. Yeah, it was neat. Yeah, that was cool. I think we know where that went. I think it, I think I wore it out. I think I, think I wore, it out. wore it out. I was going to say, she, she made it disappear on one of those long weekends of yours. Yeah. <laughs> Could have been. Could have been. Downing notes uh, regarding the uh, uh, Ken Burns coming under attack last week. Remember Ken Burns? He's not diverse enough. And then uh, Bernie Sanders was turned on as a privileged white male because he had the audacity to wear mittens to the inauguration, and some fruitcake teacher in San Francisco wrote about that. Uh, They're eating their own, and, and Downing notes, well, first they came for the socialists, and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak for me. Remember that quote? Yeah. Yep. Well, but that's yeah, what's and happening. we've used that in a lot of different incidents his, uh, in the last year or so. You know, uh, There's a woman I, I refuse to give her any publicity, uh, but the Washington Post yesterday uh, printed her... Oh, hell, I'll tell you her name just a minute. I got it written down here. You got her. Jamie, I think it's Goodall. Let me look. Let me look. Yes, my memory still works. Jamie Goodall. She wrote an opinion piece for the Washington Post 
uh, yesterday. She has a PhD in uh, undergraduate history, and she studied uh, uh, piracy of all things in the in the failed academy. And she she believes that the name Buccaneers uh, embodies a love of uh, of cutthroat behavior, and that the team should not be named the Buccaneers because pirates did a lot of bad things. Now, my question is: not only is she not only is she ridiculous, but what what motivates? Well, I guess the answer is it's the Washington Post. But I was I'm wondering rhetorically. What motivates the Washington Post to even print that? It, it, it's just it's just gibberish. It's just nonsense. It is to equate the uh, to equate the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers with uh, piracy wait, on the high seas. Wait, it, isn't that the point of the name altogether? Anyway, I mean, sure. weren't we weren't they picking names that were supposed to instill fear? The Vikings yeah, drink the blood from your skull. Yeah. The Buccaneers. Etc. The well, Bears. then you got to get rid of the Pittsburgh Pirates. We've been down this road a the million Pirates. times. Right. What would pass muster with the woke? Nothing. The daisies. The Nothing. red rose. No, not roses because they have thorns. Yeah. These people You're are right. crazy. They're insane. It's a mental illness. The I am pandas. convinced that if you get up in the morning and you think, man, I got to write a piece for the Washington Post where I can point out to people how wrong the name Buccaneers is, I'm sorry. I think you're mentally ill, however, allegedly. You're well, ill. I'd pull the allegedly out of there. You're, no, I don't yeah. want to hear from these morons. You're ill. You are ill. If you write a piece saying Bernie Sanders wearing mittens is an example of white privilege, you're ill. There's something wrong in your neurons. Your neurons aren't firing correctly. There was another one I got sent over the weekend called the snowplow test. And it's a woman who writes for the Los Angeles Times based in New York. And to avoid the pandemic, she she left where she was living in Brooklyn Heights and moved to a rural area and was was shocked one morning, well, apparently very recently during the snowstorm that hit the east, she was shocked to see that a neighbor had plowed her driveway for her. Oh, no. Oh, no. And, and it, but she didn't know what to do and didn't know how much to thank him because she... Uh, understood that he was a Trump supporter. So so oh. so she she didn't she didn't know what to do. And and she was shocked because you know in her elite world of right. quasi salon in your elitist view of the world if yeah. you somehow uh, supported Trump you're just a an uncouth heathen that isn't deserving of of <laughs> of the elite's uh, attention right. so here this guy and she even had to admit he back plowed you know he dragged the plow down the driveway and did it perfectly and she yeah. said I was really pleased with it but I don't know what to say to him I don't know if I can be <laughs> thankful I mean, <laughs> that's a form of mental illness, too. Yes. It really is. Let me see if it I can really find is. that. You guys oh, might, my word. You that's guys might get a kick out of that. Oh. Called, and it was written about in the American Conservative. Uh, <laughs> I love that. He couldn't be that nice. No, Trump's... Uh, uh, of course he would not be that nice and do nice things for people. No. It's just no. not possible. I, I'm, I'm looking for it. All I right, suppose you, I could just Google the snowplow test. You want to, uh, while you look for it, you want to take a break and come back with Patrick? Yes. All right, let's do that. We'll take a break and come back with Patrick and his Super Bowl comments. Looking for a place to build your future? Think Sioux Falls. I'm Dean Diesick. And I'm Denise Gazetta from the Sioux Falls Development Foundation. If you're planning your next career step or starting your own business, Sioux Falls has opportunities for you today. You'll find easy access to shopping, sports, and top flight entertainment, and an entrepreneur-friendly environment in a creative community. The Sioux Falls economy is growing fast, and we have great careers available for those who want to build a better future. Visit the Talent and Workforce Portal at Sioux Falls Development Dot com for all the reasons you should consider Sioux Falls. In Sioux Falls, companies invest in developing talent to accelerate your career track. It doesn't matter what your skill set is. We have a great opportunity for you. We're seeing growth right now in health and biosciences along with engineering design. Whether you're a teacher or a technician, a web designer or a welder, Sioux Falls has a place for you. Discover your new career and build your better future in Sioux Falls. Visit Talent and Workforce at SiouxFallsDevelopment.com. 